and I've been here 10 minutes already. Look, man, my turn is first, Jerko. When are you gonna get that through your head, huh? Hey, lay off, Greg, I didn't mean that. Yo, hey, Greg! You seen all Bernie Kingston around, man? Sucker put fifty dollars on the riders to win last night, and all of a sudden he's the Invisible Man. Hey, look, uh, get lost, Joy, will you? I don't want to listen to your crap right now. I'm working, okay? Special order, Greg. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. I'm right here, all right? Uh, usual place. Yeah, usual place. Listen, I'm gonna throw in a couple extra toppings just for you, okay? Hey, your turn, scum brain. Teddy baby, one extra special just for you, all right? Whoa, the old man leave his wallet lying around or something, Ted? Come on, Greg. You know I'm just kidding you, right? I'm always gonna be there for you, okay? All right? Marcos, what are you thinking? Robbery? Nah, come on. How much money is a pizza delivery guy gonna have? Could be plenty. Cocaine. They call it toot, nose candy, blow. So many innocuous names for such a vicious killer. I bet Greg Marcus knew them all. All right. Nice. Well, did you figure this all out by yourself, Sherlock, or did you get a call? I was looking to score a free pizza, but I'm always hungry, huh? Do you know this guy? Nah, nah, some small time operation. Just a punk looking to pick up some chump chains on the side, you know. Tell you what, though, stuff probably been danced on so tough it ain't even illegal. This punk just got himself killed. Well, I guess that make it your baby, don't it, Frank? Well, I think this also makes it your baby, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, I guess it does. Check it out for you. You guys keep your noses clean, huh? Wouldn't want none of that evidence going missing, you know what I'm saying? It's not easy living in the fast lane. You can't slow down, can't look to the sides. Sometimes you can't even take the time to see what's in front of you. Just have to flat out. But there's a problem with that kind of living. You get into bad accidents. I want you guys to check out the next of kin, all right? We're going to pay a call on Jerry's famous pizza. Hey, give us a pizza. Hold Anne's over here. I like anchovies. What are you talking about? People will read about the murdered pizza boy who sold drugs. He was in too deep, they'll say. How sad. And you know what's really sad? He didn't know how deep in he was until he drowned. You know some Cole? Yeah, I know. It doesn't get any easier, does it? I hate this part. I just hate it. Well, let's do the job, but... Yeah, but why does it have to be us? It comes with the territory. Whose turn is it? Uh, Yours. Uh, Mr. Marcos? Yeah? I'm Detective Carson. It's Detective Burns. May we come in for a moment, please? What do you say? May we come in, please? What is it, Ricardo? It's your son, Mrs. Marcos. I'm sorry. He's been involved in a shooting. Gregory. Oh, my God. Hey, you go, man. I'm Italian. How come I can't do that? Where's the boss? Jerry, top of the stairs on the right. You expecting you? Yeah.
Yeah, can I uh, help you fellas? Are you Jerry? I'm Jerry Brisco. I'm Detective O'Brien. This is my partner, Detective Jam Bone. And do you employ a guy named Gregory Marcus? Greg, yeah, sure. He was killed tonight. An accident? Why? He was shot. Shot? Why the hell would anyone want to shoot Greg? Maybe because he was peddling drugs along with your pizza. Drugs? I don't believe it. How long did he work for you? A couple of years, maybe. Mm -hmm. How well did you know him? Well enough. Not well enough to know he was selling drugs. Look, I don't know nothing about no drugs. The guy worked for me. He wasn't my brother. You got any idea why somebody might want to kill him? I don't know. Maybe it was something personal. Hey, you guys want to sit down? I'll get you a soft drink. Or... You got any idea where he got his drugs? Look, I told you before. This drug business is news to me. Come on, guys. I sell junk food here, not junk. Well, maybe somebody doesn't like your pizza. Is there anything else, gentlemen? I'm kind of busy right now. No, that's all. For now. Come back any time. Yeah, Norm. We got trouble. Get your butt up here right now. It's great cover for moving drugs. Yeah, not so covered anymore. Keep an eye on them, too. They don't look quite straight to me. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you there in two hours. Hey, Jerry, what's going on? That was cops just shut left here. Shut up and listen. Huh? Somebody took Greg Marcus out. I want you to shut everything down. Oh, wait a minute. Let's think about it. Now. Thank you, sir. Sorry, I'm not much help. <laughs> it's all right, Mr. Marcos. Uh, listen, if you think of anything, please give us a call. Is this his car? Gregory did not have a car. Sometimes he'd drive this one. I always say, why don't you get a hot car, a real hot car? My boy, I, I can see him now. Yes, these officers will take you now. Can you take Mr. Marcos down, please? See you, sir. Such a fine, upstanding young boy. What do you need wheels for? He had wings. Parents, what do you expect? Maybe the neighbors will sing a different song. Yeah. You take the even, I'll take the odd. That figures. All right. Detective Burns, I'd like to ask you a few questions, please, sir. Any time, buddy. Kill Johnson. <laughs> How you doing, baby? Good to see you, Cole. Yeah, hi. <laughs> come hey, on Rex. in. Hi, baby. Hey, Rex. You know okay, Rex. Come on, Rex. Down. Come on now. Come on, Rex. You remember my Edie, don't you, Cole? Edie. Here's Colby come to visit us. Hello. Honey, you finish this, and we'll go downstairs to the den, okay? All right, honey? This way, Cole. She's just getting into sleep. Not fast, maybe, but getting there. Trouble is, she's turning into a jigsaw junkie. <laughs> You 
really whipped those Detroit cops, didn't we? <laughs> Sorry, I can't help you, Cole. Hardly ever saw the kid. You know, all the guys wondered what happened to you. You're just getting out like that, man. You mean you didn't hear what happened to Ricky? Took Edie for a ride. I ran into a tree. Tootled his car. Left Edie the way you saw her. What about Rick? They thought at first he'd pull through. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Well, maybe he was the lucky one. retirement so I could help Edie call. Turn this place into a damn hospital. Meet the orderly, therapist, head nurse, bedpan expert, you name it. Well, couldn't you get me help, man? I don't want no help. I wanted to do it myself. I can't leave Edie with anybody else call. Yeah, I understand. Well, you still got her. Yeah. I still got Edie. Look, man, um, I gotta run. Freddy's gonna call at 10-13. Sure. Catch you later, Colby. Yeah, listen, um, why don't you come by the range on Friday? Meet the guys and we go out for dinner afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Someone? Oh, that's great. Where have you been? Joe Johnson. He lives right over there. I haven't seen him in a while. How's he doing? Not bad. Not bad. What do you have to say about Greg Marcos? Nothing. Must have been a great conversation. the jigsaw. Jigsaw? This one, honey. How are you doing with it? Hey, don't kid around about that stuff. I guess we owe Sammy a favor. Not as much as Joey owes me now. No, I heard it's two grand. Is that what you heard? I heard five. Oh, come on now. Listen, if you tell that guy that I made a little tiny score, he won't leave me enough for a cup of coffee. Has Joey done anything for us lately? <sighs> no. No, not that I remember. No. no. Okay, okay. What? What? I don't want oh. shoes. What? All right. Craig Marcos. Yeah, I knew the guy. A zero. He was a little nobody who liked to ride around town in his big, fat, fancy Corvette looking like Al Capone. Does that tell you guys anything? Nobody mentioned a car. A lot of them don't want to be too loud at home. Keeps the folks happy and keeps the cops off their back. Check out Skip's gas and repairs. Who's supplying these guys? That I don't know. You can tell Sammy anything you want. That's all I know. Skips gas and repairs. Mm. Well, 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 what do you know about that? Look who's dropping by. Oh, Jerry must be all shook up, huh? Relax, Jerry. You really should have a drink. No, thanks. I'm sorry to bother you like this, Mr. Mandelbaum. What's the problem, Jerry? One of our guys is being shot. I'm pulling the stuff off the streets. Wise. That means I'll be behind with a payment. 
with no revenue coming in. In our business, Jerry, only a fool plans in the short term. Do what you think is right. Your credit is okay with me. It's very kind of you, Mr. Manobaum. You really should try the Bordeaux, Jerry. Touch impertinent, perhaps, but interesting. A little like you, Jerry. I gotta get back. Just one more thing. Any heat comes down on me. You're a dead man. famous pizza. Shut up pretty good, too. Well, you know how you get when you're waiting for your pizza. I think we better call Kevin. Yeah, maybe he'll bring the anchovies. Looks like someone doesn't like you or your operation, Jerry. You feel like telling us why? How the hell am I supposed to know? Where is Ted Valley? He was driving the delivery car, wasn't he? Yeah. You got an address or a phone number? 1134. If you hear from him, let us know. Hey, I want to help you, man. I'm the one who's being hassled. Was Valley delivering anything besides the pizza? I told you before, O'Brien. It's junk food. And if I was you, I'd change the menu. I told you I wasn't. How am I supposed to know? I saw the guy. I saw the guy in his car. Do you recognize him? I got his stinking plate number. No. That's the kind of news I can use, my man. You better go and talk to the cops. What do you mean, nothing? Nothing. I didn't see nothing. You need glasses or something, Valley? Guy takes three shots at you, and you never even got a look at him. Like I said, man, I had my head down. If I'd have had my head up, I'd have been dead, OK? What could I tell you then? Come on, Valley. The guy tried to kill you. He could try again. I told you all I know. I didn't see nothing. Maybe next time the guy will get lucky. Get him out of here. Come on. You've been a real help. Sure, Greg kept his vet here. Folks didn't even know about it. Guess we put it up for sale. Not my style. Not your budget. <laughs> what about this one? Tad Valley. He worked at Jerry's, too. Uh huh. We want to check this out. Fine by me. What's over there? That one? Quite a story. Two days out of the showroom, and the kid takes his mama for a ride. Total. Said he was doing 150 when he rolled it. About six months ago. The kid was blasted on the coke when he did it. Father had the wreck towed back here. Says, don't touch it. Not a thing. Comes sometimes. And just sits there beside it for hours. Black guy? You know him? OK, thanks. Yeah, sure.
terrific. Bunch of delivery boys driving around in very expensive cars. Tips must be pretty damn good these days. Used to be they could barely cover their gas. Used to be they were just delivering pizza. Guy who owns the place says they were all really showy. They dealt a lot of cash. Paid cash for the cars, too. Great combination. Too much money, too much dope, and a very fast car. <laughs> yeah, one of them wiped out. It belonged to a kid who... uh, With more money than brains. Anything more to it than that? Uh, not important. Kid died. Dead end. So that's what it takes to get... to get a vet? Not worth it, Frankie. You should have seen what was left of the one that got wrecked. Okay. Why would anyone do that to themselves? I don't know. There was nothing new about it. I mean... For 90 years, 90 years ago, they had blow parlors. What? Yeah, well, you know, cocaine parlors. And they were just, you know, trying to cater to the same clientele that you have. And it was perfectly legal. Well, it's not the same thing, though. I mean, narcotics and alcohol. Now, that's interesting how our notion of what we ought to allow ourselves changed over the years. Yeah, well, it's probably taken all those years to figure out how much damage coke does. Yeah, and there's still a couple of million kids out there finding out. No, the question is, I think the real question is whether we can prohibit things that people want. I think sometimes we should. When people want things that destroy them, you have to stop them any way you can. I read that the guy who got shot was selling outside the high schools. High schools? I have a son in high school. And now you want to get the guy who shot him? I think he deserves a medal. Yeah, well, the guy who shot him was probably another dealer. That's right. Give him a medal. Lock him up for the rest of his life. Charlie, give me a hot dog, will you? Hi there. Oh, man. Yeah. Forget the hot dog. What's the news? I didn't find out anything about Marcos. Nobody's talking. And what about Ted Valley? Is he selling? I don't know, O'Brien. I don't know what they do in the privacy of their pizza bar. We want you to talk to this Valley. About what? We want to put a little pressure on him. Thought maybe you could help us out. No. Use your imagination, Joey. You knew this, Marcos, so uh, Valley will talk to you. Forget it. All right, it. well, forget it. But when Sammy comes looking for you, don't come looking for us. Okay, okay, okay. I'm counting on you, Joey. Thanks a lot, Jambone. Listen, man, I need a little help. With what? Well, with Greg gone, I got a little problem. What are you talking about? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. How much? A couple of grams? Might be able to help you out. Okay, listen, you know where to get in touch with me? Sure. Yeah. You said you haven't been shooting lately. Guess you don't lose it. Lose it? Maybe I ought to give it a break myself for a while. <laughs> hey. Listen, I know it's none of my business, but why not try and get your job back with the prosecutor's office? Oh, I got Edie to look after. You can still see a lot of her. Uh -huh. Maybe they won't take me back. Hey, you were one of the best they ever had. You're still young, what, 44? Oh, 45. 45, that is too early for the park bench routine. Don't ever get too comfortable. That's what my daddy used to say. Comfortable. Yeah. I guess it seemed that way when we first moved there. Nice neighborhood, quiet. Meaning? You work your guts off to get out of the slime and build a decent home. Send your kid to a good school where there aren't any street gangs. And what happens? You find your classy neighbor's boy teaching your kid to snort dope at summer camp. Rick knew Greg Marcos, didn't he? How would I know who Ricky knew or didn't know? I was like you, man, lived on the job. 
When he got killed, I was on a round-the-clock stakeout. I didn't even...